What's up, you chuckle fucks? It's your boy Dark Raku here with What If Issei Had Spiral Energy Part 11. No, before I continue on, it can't. It, uh, wait, 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 wait. You probably all can't fucking believe it. It's part 11 for this What If, yes. Part fucking 11. Not the fucking point. Uh, let me begin. This is part 11. Now, um, of course, uh, let me begin this, yeah, this what if, and other than that, uh, no recaps or nothing, because I just uploaded, like, about, uh, 30 seconds ago. <laughs> I uploaded the, uh, part 10, but yeah, this is part 11, don't know how long I'm gonna do it for, but yeah, part 10, I had to cut it off short, cause, well, I had things to do, like, put my laundry stuff, and yada yada, you don't need to fucking know. But other than that, let me begin, let me shut the fuck up, and yeah. So, we begin into Issei. Mostly Issei getting back home after kind of, well, he was already home. He did eat the fruit. He was hungry. And, of course, he went to take a nap. But, yeah. He didn't actually notice this, but mostly his body started regenerating. All the bullet holes and other shit is still there, but not that bad. He hasn't actually learned how to control fully his regeneration. And the thing that he just ate was a devil fruit that allowed him to regenerate awesome. But that is not the point here or there. But this is where, well, we go into mostly the next day, and of course, mostly Azana and even Mikey got back home. Uh, Mikey was having to be dragged back home by none other than Azana, and Azana just says, I got Mikey back home. This is where, well, he noticed Issei kind of woke up, and this is where Issei kind of like went downstairs because they do live in someone like a second house building uh, floor, but not the point. He just says, yeah, What happened? This is where well, mostly Azana says, oh, nothing. Can you help me carry this blonde hair fucker up to his room? This is where, well, Issa says, sure, Azana. This is where, well, mostly they both carry Mikey up to his room, mostly, like, dragging him like if he was a freaking bag of, like, uh, sack of potatoes, but yeah. But not the point. This is where, well, they both had to carry him. They threw him into his bed, and this is where, well, Azana kind of narrows his eyes and says, Issa. Issa says, yes, Azana. You didn't go... To fight the Yakuza, did you? N no. Why would I? I'm not. I, why, why, why would I do this? Besides, there will be too many people. I can't fight them all. It's on her eyes and says, Issei, tell me the truth. I didn't. He's, it's on her says, fine, I believe you. Just for right now, I truly don't trust you fully if you're going to go do something crazy, okay? This is where, well, Issei nodded and says, yeah, don't worry. Why would I do anything crazy? I'm not crazy, Izana. This is Izana narrow his eyes and says, Sure, I believe that. Yeah, Izana truly doesn't believe Issei to be not crazy enough to go fight the Yakuza, but yeah. Now, the Yakuza that Issei fought against in, well, in Kyo, their name was, what was it called? The, um, so their name was Kingsuko no Hana, meaning just metal flowers. And of course, they were, well, Issei just beat the shit out of them. Basically, they didn't really care, and they didn't really wanted to tell Izana uh, that, because he would just worry Izana a lot more. So, of course, they were, well, we go into a time skip, but mostly Issei going back to his room and going back to sleep, but yeah. But, of course, they were, well, we go into mostly a time skip of mostly, um, uh, Issei just walking around, uh, Kyo. This is where, well, Issei is kind of going to, well, uh, a shop nearby, just to kind of go eat something, but yeah. Or mostly just buy something and just go eat, but yeah. This is where, well, he's getting close to this place until he accidentally bump in with a girl who has kind of like this reddish kind of eyes and blackish long hair. She also has, well, she had like this red rose near her top of her head. And this is where, well, she had like this school uniform somewhat being kind of like a red and black kind of school uniform skirt and other things. This is where, well. She was acting and bumping into Issei, and this is where, well, Issei said, ah, sorry about that. Issei kind of got up in an instant, just to give her her hand, well, give his, his, his hand towards the girl. This is where, well, she was blushing a little bit because how handsome Issei is entirely. Because Issei's kind of blackish hair and a green streak, well, kind of darkish, not blackish hair. Mostly darkish brown hair, and of course, mostly a green streak on top of his head. Yes, he has a green streak. He will kind of uh, start coloring his hair mostly with more green highlights, but for right now it's just a green streak. This is where, well, he doesn't have a mask on him, and of course, this is where, well, she is blushing because he looks quite cute, hot, and other things. This is where, well, she kind of just blushes and squirms around mostly. Issei's kind of like 
uh, giving his hand to her, which she does kind of take it. Now, of course, as you mentioned, what Issa is wearing, Issa is just wearing a normal black hoodie with no designs. Well, it does have a design. It just has a kind of like mostly a design of like a uh, just green flames on it. And of course, it wore, well, he is just wearing black kind of like sweatpants with just uh, black boots. But yeah, this is what, well, he kind of just kind of pulls her up and this is what, well, she gets pulled up and this is what, well, she's actually quite a little bit smaller than Issei. But this is what, well, she's a little blushing and other things. This is what, well, Issei says, like, sorry about that. Uh, sorry for bumping into you. This is where she just kind of shakes her hand and says, no, it's okay. This is what, well, she is, well... She kind of just like looks at him and says, um, what's your name? Issei kind of notices and says, uh, my name is Issei Sanokuragawa. This is where, well, Issei says his full name. This is where, well, she nodded. This is where, well, Issei says, so what's your name? This is where, well, she says, oh, my name is Junko, uh, uh, well, we'll see. My name is Junko Ishikawa. This is where, well, Issei says, Junko, interesting. Can I call you Junko with an I? Because I actually have a friend back at hometown that's actually called Junko Anishima. So can I call you Junko I with, with the I? This is where Junko nodded. This is where, well, mostly she's blushing. She never expected uh, Issei to meet someone else that's named Junko, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Issei's surprised. He has two girls that are named Maki, either Maki with an H or Maki with a Z. And now he has, well, also, he has... Three people that he met, either Maki, one that's with, well, the Fire Force kind of uh, organization somewhat, Maki with an O, then Maki with an H and Z that are actually in his school, and now he met another Junko, which he is going to kind of be confused and why he's meeting so many people with almost the same name. Next, he's just going to think, am I going to meet someone else whose name is Death with something else? Oh, please, this, I hope not. Maybe, but nah. This is what, well, you say things. Hmm. And whatever. This is what, well, mostly she's just kind of waving her hand trying to see if Issei's responding. And this is like, Issei's saying, oh, sorry. I'm sorry if I didn't respond to you. I was just thinking. This is what, well, Junko kind of blushed and said, oh, so yeah, it's fine. This is what, well, mostly Issei said, oh, well, I need to be going to the store. I'm kind of hungry. This is what, well, she had a bento box with her. And of course, it worked well. She realized that it kind of did kind of got destroyed during the fact that they bump into each other. But yeah, Issei noticed this and said, oh, do you want me to buy you another? Junko kind of blushes and says, no, it's fine. I don't need another one. This is where her, she laughs. But this is where Issa kind of grabs her hand just to, like, to kind of bring her into the store just so she can ask for another one. Issa kind of just waited until she kind of did ask for another one. And Issa already got his own order. And of course, it worked well. He did pay for it. Of course, he is kind of rich somewhat. Don't worry in how he's rich or not. And yeah. But of course, it worked well. We go into mostly... Junko and Issei getting out of the store. Of course, Issei says, well, there's their bento box. Sorry for destroying your other one. <laughs> well, I should probably be going. Issei also did get other two bento boxes just for his brother. And of course, it worked. well, she kind of just asked Issei if he's going to eat all three of those. This is where Issei says, oh, no, these other two are actually for my brothers. And also someone that's in the hospital, but not the point. <laughs> but see ya. This is where Issei kind of just waves her off. And this is where Issei walks away, but yeah. This is where, well, Junko is right now waving Issei off, and this is where, well, she blushes. She is quite interesting a little bit. She would stalk him, but this is where, well, Issei kind of just dips away from her, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, she is interesting. She never seen this boy anywhere near the school, anywhere kind of near her school, but yeah. She heard that this kid is just visiting from his hometown, but yeah, this is where, well, she kind of just realized that he's not even a part of uh, Kyo that much, or a part of any of the schools. This is where she's wondering what kind of school does he go to. This is where, well, she's kind of a little feeling yonderish uh, at the same time, because she has heard that he also has someone else that's named Junko from his hometown. This is where, well, she feels like she wants to kill the person. But we go into a POV of someone else. Someone else with blondish hair and dullish blue eyes. Well, mostly palish blue eyes. Mostly palish rose blonde hair, and this is where, well, she's yawning, and of course, right now teasing, what's it called, her friends. But this is where she has a weird instinct to kill someone who literally got close to Issei. This is where, well, mostly a uh, bluish hair girl named Esther says, Are you okay, Junko? Junko says, Uh, yes, I'm fine. I just felt the weird instinct to kill someone. But that's fine. It's all, it's all okay. This is where, well, mostly Esther nodded and say, Okay. 
Well, are you thinking that Issei is cheating on you with another girl that's named Junko? That's where well, Junko scoffs and says, of course not. He he only knows one Junko and that's me. Besides, I'm Junko Nishima. He's going, he's going to be the first one to put his. This is where, well, mostly Essa's face becomes red after hearing what mostly her friend just started saying. And of course, it went, well, mostly Essa says, shut up already. No, he's not going to do that. This is where, well, Junko says, uh huh, are you getting jealous? This is where, well, Essa says, do you want me to freeze you into an ice block? This is where Junko says, I would love to see you try. This is where, well, Mariana is over here, well, not Mariana, I'm see. Maria is over here just kind of looking at her phone in cosplays and saying, what do you think Issei would like as a cosplay? This is where, well, she questioned both of her friends and those were, well, both of them said, I don't know. You look good by yourself, but if you want to cosplay for him, I guess just go pick a character, I don't know. And they both said, well, before it started to attack each other, but yeah. This is where, well, Mariana says, well, Mar Mariana, mostly Maria, Maria kind of says, fine, okay. I picked this then. This is where, well, she gets something for her, her phone, and this is where, well, she decides to text someone who's actually a good cosplay maker and actually asking them if they will make it for her. But yeah. But we go into mostly Issei kind of getting towards his house, or mostly where his two brothers live at, and actually going towards the hospital. And then he gets to the hospital to meet Draken, but yeah. This is where, well, Draken, he is kind of waking up in there. <sighs> <sighs> that's a good nap. That's where Draken said. He says he knocks at the door and that's where well Draken says come in. He says yo Draken you okay? This is where Draken says ah Issei, what makes you well well brings you here anyway? This is where he says I brought some bento. I know school I mean not school I mean uh hospital food isn't that great and I know how the feeling is. This is where Draken chuckles and says well you bought me a bento? Heck yeah. I kind of went to the store. I bump into another girl. This is where Draken says, oh, another potential girlfriend? This is where Issa's face becomes red and says, Sh shut up, Draken. This is where, well, mostly, Draken says, oh, am I hitting the home run? Am I getting a correct answer? Are you saying that you did find another girl? And now you're going to try to make her, this is where Issa says, shut up, okay? I don't want you to keep talking. No, stop it. This is where Draken chuckles and says, oh, come on, he says, it's not that bad, is it? This is where, well, Draken is making jokes with Issei about his problems with his girls at, what's it called, his hometown, mostly Kuo, and of course, how they will probably tie him up and of course make him to have fun with them. And this is where, well, Issei's face is almost entirely red. This is where he says, hey, sh sh shut up already, Draken. I don't want to talk about this. This is the worst. You're the worst type of person to talk about this. No. This is where, well, mostly Draken just giggles at mostly Issei's kind of predicament. And this is where, well, uh, mostly Draken says, oh, wait, it's not six no more, it's seven. Because if that girl joins you, it's, isn't it supposedly a harem or something? Aren't, isn't that like some kind of like dream that most guys would want, like girls to be in a harem or whatever? This is where, well, he says, hey, shut up. No, we're not talking about this. Stop it, Draken. Just shut up. This is where, well, Draken just says, oh, come on, Issei, I'm just joking. Issei just blushes a lot redder than normal. And this is where, well, mostly Draken is chuckling because mostly making Issei blush is kind of reminds of Emma blushing sometimes. This is where, well, mostly Issei says, shut up, okay? Stop, no, stop it. This is where, well, mostly Issei is still wearing the necklaces, the three necklaces that he just wears. And this is where, well, Draken says, hey Issei, huh? How about, uh, was it calm? How about we just hang out together when I get out of the hospital? He says, says you will stop bullying me with most of my love life. Draken says, oh, of course not. I'm not going to stop. Then no. This is where he says, say, clearly, just hesitating a little bit. This is where, well, mostly Draken chuck, uh, chuckles and says, oh, come on. He says, I'm not that bad person. I'm not much of a bad person. He says, say, fine. Of course, it worked well. Mostly, Issei kind of gets up and says, well, I should be kind of going with Mikey and Hazana towards a shrine. And mostly, Mikey will probably get his mind off of you for a second and you'll be fine. Besides, Mikey wanted to go, go kill the Yakuza's uh, for what's called what they did to you. This is what, well, Draken watch off and says, of course, Mikey would go do that. So tell me, Issei, did you go do it instead? This is where, well, my, he says, says, what? No, of course I didn't do anything. This is where Draken says, really? Really? You think I believe that? 
you and Mikey had the same mind kind of stance to go kill whoever like hurts those that you care about. He's just like, uh, what? No, no, what? No, I, that, that's not me. This is where, well, Drunken says, really? He said, he said, oh, well, I'm gonna be going. I, bye. This is where, well, he said, just walks away and Drunken just sighs and says, God damn it. How can I stop you from being crazy? I try, Emma, I try, I try so many times to stop Issei from going down the same path as Mikey, but yet, there's, it's too hard to take them apart. It's like fucking glue taking apart wood. That's not happening. It's like super glue and fucking wood together. Stuck. Forever. But yeah. It's hard. Does it work? Well, mostly a drunk and sad. Ah, so annoying. But of course, we go into Issei kind of walking out of the hospital and does it work? Well, Issei already did finish his mental box and does it work? Well, he's walking until he actually bump into another person. Does it work? Well, this time... He managed to kind of grab their hand before they actually fell down in an inting. This is where, well, mostly Issei managed to also stabilize himself because he didn't really get bumped, well, pushed down either. This is where, well, mostly the girl was actually surprised until Issei just lifted her back up and it was a girl with kind of orange chestnut hair somewhat. Of course, she does have kind of purplish eyes. She is wearing this kind of cloak, like whitish cloak. And she does have like a cross on her kind of necklace. Or mostly not necklace on her neck. It's a necklace. This is where well, it's a silverish cross. This is where it, well, he say, say, sorry about that. He say, say, this is where it, well, the girl is blushing because, well, she's looking at her childhood friend right now. And of course, her, well, mostly her childhood friend who changed a little bit. And of course, was the one who actually fought against the Yakuza boss and kicked his ass. And killed him. Pro probably, maybe. Yeah, he definitely did kill him. But yet, he managed to defeat him without even using any supernatural abilities. Just straight up hands. This is where her face is entirely red and he says, Are you okay? Did you become sick? Oh wait, you're going to the hospital's direction. I can bring you to the hospital if you need this. Is where, oh, she just shakes her head and says, No, 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 I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. He says, Oh, sorry. Uh, I might have actually predicted that. Um... Are you okay though? This is where, well, she nodded. Of course, she's blushing. She never expected to see her childhood friend slash crush someone. And of course, the white one. Issei is still the caring, same, uh, well, same gentle boy and other things. This is where, well, mostly she then said, um, can I know your name? This is where Issei said, oh, sure. The name's Issei. This is where, well, mostly she then just said, Issei? So it is Issei. Yes, this is Issei. He says it's Sana Kurugawa. This is where he says the last name. Sa Sana Kurugawa? Wait a minute. That's not Issei's last name. It's Yoro, not Kurugawa. Or Sana. Wait, what? Huh? This is where well, Issei says, can I know your name? This is where Ar Irina says, uh, yeah, the name's Irina. Irina, Sh uh, I forgot, Sh Shiru, whatever the hell it is, last name, but that's where she said it. And this is where Issei says, hmm, sounds familiar. I can't really remember much about my childhood, but uh, it does sound like Iron. Iron something. I don't remember his full name, but your name it does remind me of someone like that. Hmm. Sorry about that. I don't really remember anything about my childhood. So, of course, I wouldn't really remember an Irina. You sound so familiar, but I guess I'm just thinking of an Iron. But everything in my head is blurry when I was... Hmm, never mind. I should start rambling on right in front of you. Sorry about that. But, uh, I don't really know your name that much, but, hey. Nice to meet you. This is what, well, mostly Issei kind of just said. This is where I'm not blushes and says, yeah, nice to meet you, too. This is where, well, Issei says, uh, I should probably let go of your hand, should I? Not? This is where she realizes that they are both, both uh, mostly holding hands, and this is where, well, she just blushes even more. This is where, well, mostly Issei says, uh, here. This is where Issei lets go of her hand, and this is where, well, he says, like, sorry, I gotta be going. I gotta, uh, I gotta start meeting with my brothers. This is where, well, we'll see. He say kind of just waves her off and just say, bye. This is where, well, we'll see. Irina nodded. And that's where she then say, wait, brothers? You don't have, wait, uh. This is where she just sees him run off, but yeah. This is where she sighs and says, wait, Issei doesn't have brothers? Is this the same Issei? This is where she's thinking in her head. Did she just hold hands with another person and not her childhood friend? This is where, well, she's blushing, but yes, he still has the same somewhat face structure as Issei Hyoro, but it's not Issei Hyoro. He's Issei Sano Kurogawa. Wait a minute. 
Maybe Issei changed his name, but why would he change his name? Right now, Irina has so many questions until she bumped into someone with bluish hair and a green streak. This is where she says, mostly Irina say, Ow, watch your hair. Uh, sorry about that, Zen over here. This is where, well, mostly the girl with bluish hair kind of just looked at mostly Irina. This is where Irina says, I, uh, well, mostly not Irina, mostly Zen over says, Irina, what are you doing? This is where Irina says, uh, sorry, I was just thinking about mostly my childhood friend. You mean the boy that kind of bumped into you? This is where, well, what was his name? Issei? Issei son of Kurogawa? Yes, but the last names, they are not Issei Hyoto's last name. Hmm, maybe he just changed it, uh, as Zenobia said. But that's weird for someone to change it. This is where, well, we'll see. I gonna say that is true. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, uh, whatever. This is where, well, mostly both of them just kind of think about it. But this is where, well, they then think about, the, does he even know about the supernatural? And this is where, well, Zenobia thinks, maybe we can get him to the church. This is where, well, they would talk to him, but he says, already gone. But we go into mostly Issei going towards meeting up with his brothers. We go, yeah, we go into them kind of like showing up towards a shrine. Think of it like the shrine that Issei visits with his friends in the original canon. Yeah, he visits that shrine. This is where, well, mostly Kurogawa and Issei, well, not Kurogawa, mostly Issei, uh, Izana, and even with Ka, Mikey are just kind of like there at the shrine, just looking around. This is where, well... We'll see Izana is kind of taking pictures of what Issei is kind of doing. We'll see Issei just touches one of the, uh, what's it called, statues on accident and say, yeah, shit. This is where, well, we'll see Issei says, I didn't do anything. I'm not getting bad luck. This is where, well, Issei just wipes his hand on, what's it called, Mikey. And Mikey says, hey, 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 don't give me bad luck. He gives it to Izana. Izana says, what are you two childish? What are you two children? This is where, well, we'll see Issei and Mikey say, no. Zana says, good to know, because uh, basically Zana just wipes it back onto, well, Mikey. Mikey says, uh, you, Sanwa. This is where, well, before anything else happens, a lot of, like, figures comes out from the, what's it called, woods. They seem to have tails and even ears, but they all seem to have their face kind of covered, but they have, what's it called, like, these spears. A girl with blondish hair and, of course, kind of, like, blondish eyes. She does have her tails out, and this is where, well, she then says, You bastards! This is where, well, mostly, uh, Izana, Mikey, and even Issei look confused, and this is where, well, Issei says, What the fuck is all these cosplayers doing? Izana says, That's a. That's an actual good question. What are these cosplayers doing here? This is where, well, mostly the girl almost faltered and just said, What is a cosplayer? Because she is still kind of like a little kid, and this is where, well, mostly the others wind their eyes. Who were kind of under the command of mostly the little girl. And of course they just realized that these are just straight up new, uh, normal humans. That they're going to accidentally attack. But they already showed themselves. So it's probably a bad idea. Does it work? Well, the girl says, never mind that. Attack the person that uh, right now touched one of the statues. Does it work? Well, mostly a bunch of people start trying to attack Issei. And even Izana and Mikey. Mikey dodges and right now kicks one in the face. This is where, well, Izana kicks one in the side of the head, knocking them out. And when Issei, Issei is just knocking out people left and right, punching them right in the face before they can even use the spear. He grabs the spear and kind of breaks it sometimes. But yeah, and then stabs into a person. He doesn't care. He shows no mercy to those who literally attacks him. But yeah. This is where, well, the little girl is actually getting scared. Until mostly someone with the spear... Actually managed to kind of dodge, well, mostly just dodge Izana and even Mikey. And was actually about to hit Issei, which he did manage to hit Issei right in the chest. Issei coughs the blood. <clears throat> this is where, well, he gets stabbed into mostly a wall. And of course, it where, well, Mikey noticed this and even Izana. Izana got pissed by Mikey. His eyes literally turned white in an instant. His mostly pupils turned white. This is where, well, his hair started going up, and this is where it was dark impulse in an instant. Issei managed to break the spear and punch the person, but of course, he felt like his stomach is hurting. He's uh, bleeding out from his stomach. This is where he falls down. This is where he was already hurt from yesterday's battle, but this is where, well, mostly he's coughing up blood. The little girl was actually kind of happy, but not much. Because she felt this dark malicious energy. It's none other than Mikey. Mikey has destroyed every yokai that was near him. He didn't give a damn. He broke someone's face in an instant and started beating the shit at them. This is where the little girl got so startled and scared from Mikey's energy. 
This is where Izana was also pissed. But this is where my uh, Izana runs up to Issei. And this is where uh, Izana says, Issei, are you okay? Issei co I started coughing up more blood and say, Izana, I'm... <coughs> he started coughing up more blood. This is where, well, Izana says, Issei, damn it. We need to bring you to a hospital. He said that, I'm fine. No, you're not. These are not bullets. So you're not going to be fine. This is where, well, Mikey says, you. This is where, well, Mikey glares at the little girl, and the little girl gets startled. You heard of my little brother. I'm going to kill you. This is where, well, mostly Izana knows that it's a little girl who's a cosplayer, I guess. So, but again, he would tell Mikey to stop, but he's also really fucking pissed and enraged. This is where, well, someone appears right in front of Mikey. It's a guy with kind of blondish hair. Well, not blondish hair. Having kind of reddish but blondish kind of tipped up hair. And this is where he says, hey, I'm not letting you kill my sister. This is where uh, Mikey says, and it's good enough for her to kill my little brother? Fuck that. I'll kill you too if you get in my way. This is where, well, mostly the person kind of got startled and looks at mostly the little girl and says, all right now, uh, Kuna, what are you talking, what is he talking about? And mostly Kuna says, I, I don't know. One of them touched a statue, so I thought it would be a good idea to startle them and scare them away. But I didn't know they would fight back. This is where, well, mostly, she then kind of says, Big Brother. Mostly telling the older kind of looking yokai. Which mostly Mikey, Izana, and mostly Issei literally thinks that these are just cosplayers, but whatever. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Mikey says, I don't give a damn. You're dead to me. Mikey rushes at what's it called? Well, the older brother of Kunu. And this is where, well, the older brother of Kunu right now blocks the attack. But this is where, well, two people right now appeared. Right now, one with mostly having goldenish blonde hair. Of course, she has beautiful goldenish blonde hair. She also has her eyes being well. She had she had golden slick eyes and of course like nine tails behind her flowing. But of course someone stopped her in an instant before kind of like kind of going there. This is where well it was none other than Amaterasu. Amaterasu appears to be a beautiful well mostly. She had long but beautiful black hair and of course even these purplish eyes. Well it's, it kind of looks onyx but not the point. This is where well mostly Yakuza says we gotta do something. This is where well Amaterasu says no. This is where another person I know is Amartasu. This is where, well, Amartasu says, we cannot. Well, we can, but we need to make sure that these humans doesn't know about the supernatural. I can sense them, and none of them do have the strength of magic or power. Sacred gears that they have, neither. And, of course, we just attacked a regular humans, or most of your daughter just attacked regular humans. This is where, well, most of Yakuza whined her eyes and got scared. Mostly for the boy who actually got stabbed by a spear. This is where, well, mostly the boy with kind of whitish hair is, and also darker skin with purplish eyes, is right now pissed. And the boy who has blondish hair is right now having his hair kind of fly up, and of course, dark energy is around him. But it's not magic, it's just this dark, malicious energy. This is where, well, mostly Mikey grins and says, So you say, so do you want to take her place and I kick your ass? I guess that would be good enough. I wasn't thinking of hurting her, I was thinking of killing her, but hey. It's her fault for attacking my little brother. This is where, well, the other brother says, I will not let you hurt her. This is where, well, the other brother rushes at, what's it called, uh, Mosi, Mikey. But before that, Mosi, uh, Yokosa, uh, Yakuza had to turn off her nine tails and look like a normal human. This is where she then tells Mosi, uh, the boy, who is now known as Naruto, Naruto Uzumaki, someone. This is where, well, she said, Naruto. Kuniko, this or Kuno. This is where well, both of them were startled at mostly hearing their mother's voice. But this is where Mikey wanted to punch the shit out of Naruto, which he actually managed to get the freaking chance. He clocked the shit out of Naruto, and this is where Mikey was about to attack what's it called mostly Naruto until mostly he says, Mikey, yeah. This is where well he screams out Mikey's name until Mikey kind of got startled and looks at Issei's kind of condition. This is where well mostly uh. He started kind of saying, stop it, Naruto. Uh, this is where, well, mostly, uh, not Naruto, mostly, uh, he said kind of just told Mikey to stop, not Naruto. This is where Mikey kind of rushed up to, uh, Issei because he got a, uh, out of dark impulse because Izuna screamed out his name, saying, idiot, how you been get over here and get us to a, well, get him to a hospital? You're, you're the only one with the goddamn motorcycle who actually decides not to walk here. 
This is where Mikey kind of got startled and said, uh, yeah, right. This is where Mikey kind of rushes up to Mosey Isaac until Mosey, well, uh, what's it called? Yakuza says, Naruto, Kuno. And this is where, well, Mosey Amartas also appear next to her. And this is where, well, they're not really using any supernatural abilities. And this is where, well, Mosey Yakuza says, what? Why are you having your nine tails out? Mostly your tails out. They are not just, they're not from the supernatural. They're just humans. This is where, well, he said, heard this and this is where, well, he said, oh, shit, the fight against the supernatural again. Well, not the supernatural. He still doesn't believe in that shit, even if Joker tells him about it, but whatever. But this is where, well, mostly, uh, Issei is completely passing out. He's losing too much blood. Until mostly, uh, Yakuza says, I'm so sorry about attacking, well, mostly my people, my servants attacking your little brother. Please, let me bring him to my house. I will take care of him. This is where, well, Zana and even what's it called, Mikey are straight up on guard against mostly Yakuza. And this is where, well, mostly Naruto was about to say something until mostly Amar tries to say, stop it. They're pretty much on guard. You realize that Kuno right now attacked their kind of little brother. So, of course, they're being really on guard. They won't take nice gestures to those who just try to attack them. This is where, well, mostly Naruto growls and just says, fine. This is where, well, mostly you say, he's right now bleeding more, and this is where, well, mostly you say, start passing out. This is where, well, mostly my, uh, right now, Zuna stands next to him and says, eh, we don't have any time for this bullcrap, lady. I don't care in what your nice justice. Your people literally try to attack us. People or your cosplayers or whatever the fuck they're doing, but I don't give a damn. We're going to a hospital. This is where, well, right now, right, uh, Yakuza is trying not to use magic to try to control them and trying to change her mind. But of course, the where, well, mostly Elmer tries to try to calm them down, saying, Can you please just at least listen to us? We, we will explain everything and reason why uh, people attacked you, probably attacked you. This is where, well, Zana and even Mikey were looking at mostly their little brother's condition, and of course, this is where, well, they decide to choose, uh, well, take a choice. They know they won't be able to make it to a hospital. You see, got hit probably in somewhere uh, very, very what they call precious, and of course, in his body. They realize that maybe he won't probably make it, so they say, fine. So, of course, Mosi is on to pick up his little brother, and even Mikey helped out. And of course, decide to go to the mansion of where they live. This is where, well, Mosi Issei is kind of waking up. It's been actually like a uh, whole day, but yeah. But of course, Issei's mostly that spear. Mostly the spearhead, of course, was taken out and, of course, was kind of regenerated by himself. He was regenerated by himself with flames. But it wasn't magic when the person wiped his eyes. Well, mostly it was two people who were just kind of taking care of Issei. It was, well, they were kind of surprised to see Issei being able to regenerate himself. Was it work? Well, they say, is he apart from the supernatural? No, Lady Yakasa, uh, yeah, Lady Yakasa, and even was it called, um, Lady Amachas would say that he wasn't. He has no magic. You can even sense it. That's not magic. This is where, well, they both nodded. They both are just thinking, wow, so interesting. But, of course, they look at mostly Issei's, like, chest. And, of course, his body. He's quite muscular. Even for being a human. This is where, well, they both flush in an instant. Yeah, they're actually females. And this is where, well, we go into the next day. Issei just wakes up. And this is where, well, Issei sees, well, mostly, he kind of opened his eyes and just sees a beautiful kind of, Whitish hair girl, mostly she has short white hair, like snowy white hair, and this is where it was, she has blue eyes and what. So yeah, she has kind of like this bluish eyes, crystallized blue eyes, and of course she doesn't have her nine tails out because, well, she has to be careful with the human, and of course this is where, well, she was just getting a wet towel and just changing it from Issa's head and also kind of taken off his bandages, mostly Issei's bandages. Of course, they were still bloody, but this is where, well, she was just taking them off and putting more on his kind of side of his torso because he did just got hit by a spear like yesterday. Issei started kind of opening his eyes and sees this girl with beautiful kind of eye color. This is where, well, her hair is also quite beautiful and this is where, well, Issei said, uh, hey. Issei said in a very hoarse voice. This is where the girl kind of got startled and just said, uh, you're awake. You should just take a little bit more of a nap. You're still very hurt. This is where she kind of asked Issei. But this is where Issei kind of like stood himself up and said, where am I? This is where she said, uh, you, you got to lay down, please. You're going to start bleeding more. Issei says, I'm fine. This is where, well, she looks upset and says, no, you got to lay down. This is where, well, she gets upset and decides to say, you either lay down or I'll lay down with you. 
He says, say, what are you, this is where it will. Once he got pushed back down, and of course, this is where it will. The female, who does have a very sizable bus, decides to go lay upon him, on top of him, and says, I'm not letting you stand up. You will kind of make yourself bleed out too much. And I'm not giving up what mostly Lady Akasa kind of gave me as a mission. This is where, well, she kind of just lay upon him. And this is where Issei is right now, trying so hard not to rise up from the dead. Mostly little Issei. It's to rise up from the undead and just act in poker. He said, uh, uh, he said, just passed out there a while. He got a little bit of blood, uh, well, mostly a little bit of blood kind of coming out from his nose and just passed out, but yeah. That's all right, well, she just kind of giggles at his cute reaction. That's all right, well, she says, well, for being a normal human, he is quite cute. I wonder, that's all right, well, before she can even kind of put her hand near, well, Issei's kind of crotch. Uh, someone opens the door, and of course, wh who opens the door was another beautiful female. Well, see, she almost has a uh, almost the same size of a bus as, like, the white hair, but she has kind of brownish, like, longish brownish hair with reddish eyes. Is it where, well, she opens the door and sees this sight. Well, see, the whitish hair girl says, uh, sis, this is not what it looks like. This is where, well, the girl says, uh, it kind of looks like you're about a, how should I say... Um, that's where, well, the whitish hair girl says, no, 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 no. She then says her, uh, we'll see her, her sister's name being Will. So, so where, well, we go into mostly a time skip, and of course, well, we go into mostly, Issei waking up mostly four days later. But yeah, his regeneration managed to heal his body, and of course, mostly it was thanks to the fact that flames started appearing after a while, and started healing him, but yeah. Does it work, well? Issei woke up in an instant, and of course, this work well, Issei said, ah, what, what happened? This work well, Issei opened his eyes to see three beautiful women right now in front of him. Now, of course, one kind of had, well, purplish, kind of, it was like purplish brown hair with purplish eyes. Of course, another one had brownish uh, long hair and, of course, reddish eyes, and the last one had the short kind of white hair but with bluish eyes. This work well. They were kind of topless for a second because they were actually discussing something and Issei saw this and literally passed out, had a nose, a blood nose. This is where, well, Issei managed to stop himself after a while because, yeah, Issei then kind of woke up after like seconds after that. But yeah, Issei said, what, what is happening? Issei looks away from them, but this is where, well, mostly they like changed back after a while and this is where, well, they kind of apologized all, all at the same time, thinking that Issei wasn't going to wake up now. And this one, he says, uh, what, what happened? I can't really remember what happened next, last time. Uh, Easy is kind of just looking at them. As they're seeing their back to kind of wearing their tops. And of course, mostly their kimono. So they wouldn't show off their chest to expose. I mean, it's still exposed, but not that much. Easy kind of just looks at them with a confused look. And this is where, well, they say, uh, oh, right, our names. This is where, well, they all said. This is where, well... So, well, the purplish hair girl, kind of brownish hair, kind of, it's like a mix, and with, with purplish eyes, kind of says, the name's Amaji. This is where, well, she then points to the girl with brownish long hair, and says, this is uh, Akaga? Ak yeah, I, Akaga? And, of course, this is where the bluish hair is the name Kaga. This is where, well, mostly, he says, uh, well, well, not blue hair, but white hair. He says, I see. Ah, uh, this is where he says, right now, stood up in an instant. He says, well, my name is Issei Sano. Karagawa. Is it where, well, mostly the girl in the middle kind of nodded. The girl with brownish hair kind of just smiles at, well, kind of just nodded also. The white haired girl kind of nodded, but of course blushes because she knows what she did on that first day when he said they woke up, but yeah, she was kind of blushing, but yeah. And of course, the word, or not blushing, it was like two days, but yeah, not the point. She was kind of just saying, well, uh, mostly Kaga it says, at least you're okay. This is where Issei says, yeah, I'm fine. What happened anyway? This is where, well, mostly they kind of start to say, uh, nothing happened. This is where, well, you were just hurt and we brought you here. Huh. This is where, well, they're not trying to talk about Kuno who actually attacked them on accident. I'm thinking they were trespassers, but they were just normal humans. This is where Issei says, I see. Uh, are you... Issei starts getting up, and this is where, well, mostly he realizes he doesn't have a shirt and his necklaces. Uh, this is where he says, where's my necklaces? He said in a very coldest tone. This is where, well, the girl with whitish hair says, oh, they're right over there. 
we just put them over there so they wouldn't be too much of a bother. He says, like, no, they're not a bother to me. He says, grabs them and just put them around his neck and went to put on his shirt and, of course, just take them out and blah, blah, blah. Not the point. And to where he says, well, thanks, but I should be going. This is where the door opens up, revealing a girl with kind of brownish hair. Brownish kind of messy hair for a little bit, but it used to be messy, but it's right now clean. And this is where, well, she also has hate wish eyes and, of course, has glasses. And this is where, well, she's wearing a kimono. And, of course, she's revealing some of her bust, but not the point. But this is where, well, she opens the door and says, hey, uh, I'm Momosi. She then kind of calls out for, like, these three people. She says, Amarji, Akaga, and Akaga. Uh, uh, this is where, where, Akaga. This is where, oh. Mostly, they all kind of notice the person. And they say, uh, Lady, uh, Aika, are you, why are you here? This is where Aika says, oh, nothing. I just came here to talk to you. He, 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 he say, Akaga, well, mostly, Aika kind of just face becomes almost entirely red. He says, Aika, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Aika says, I should be asking you that. He says, well, I clearly don't, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I remember what happened to me. I got stabbed by a spear by some cosplayers with tails. It's weird, but yeah, that's, that's the thing I can remember. Then I remember a little girl shouting, and I can't remember the other rest. This is where, well, mostly, I can say, wait, did you just say, how did these people look like? What do you mean cosplayers? They had tails, and they had spears. This is where I guess aura right now darken a little bit. Issei didn't notice this, but of course the other three yokais did. They noticed what they call Aika's aura. She was right now pissed and angry. This is where she glares at the others, mostly the other yokai. Of course, it's basically her older sister, but not the point. And does it work well? Aika says, what happened exactly? She then said in a very dark tone towards the older girls, which Issei kind of got started and says, are you okay, Aika? Aika says, uh, yeah, I'm fine. That's where she had to kind of act around with Issei. This is where, well, mostly he says, okay, well, I should probably be going to see my brothers. I don't know where they're at. Um, this is where he said, question, hey, do you know where my brothers would be at? Mostly one has kind of whitish hair, darkish tan skin, and of course, purplish eyes. The other one has kind of like the opposite look like of him, but not the point. He does have kind of like blondish, lightish brown hair. Of course, bluish, dark blue eyes, and of course, tannish skin, somewhat, uh, well, not tannish it's kind of palish but not the point uh, have you seen them this is where they nod and say they should be at the dining room he says where's the dining room this is where i can say i'll take you to it this is where well she actually wants to meet isay's brother so yeah and mostly he say nod and decides to kind of follow aika now of course even with aika's kind of just wearing that kimono she looks quite very cute in it in his opinion but yeah so of course in Issa's opinion, when I keep kind of looking like in that kimono, he says just kind of wondering if he should just listen to what Draken said that one time. Mostly, if a girl is wearing something really nice, you should probably just start making out with her. This is where, well, he said his face was red at that time in the hospital. This is where, with uh, mostly Draken, he says, sh shut up. This is where, well, he says he's now kind of thinking of doing something like that. But this is where, well, he just keep his hormones in check for a second. I could kind of question Issei something out, and this is where, well, she kind of talk out loud. And, of course, Issei didn't understand the question. He said, uh, did you say something? This is where I could say, uh, yeah. Uh, I thought you didn't, I thought you fell asleep or something. He said, no, 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 sorry, I was just thinking about something. This is where I could say, okay. Uh, Issei. Uh, Issei said, yeah? Why are you here in Kyo? He said, oh, since I got suspended, I just asked my brother if we should just go visit somewhere in Japan. We just decided to take Kyo and go visit shrines and other stuff. It was interesting, this place. Yeah. But, yeah, that's that's why I came here. That's why I could say, oh. He says, why are you here? I could say, I'm just doing some family business here. So, yeah, I just came here. I also came here to visit my aunt. He says, oh, that's interesting. That's where I almost see, I could say, yeah. This is where he says, so how's everyone back at home? And this is where I can say, pretty good. Moriyama and Catherine are kind of training in Kendo. Uh, as if, um, what's it called, Junko and even what's it called, Maria are kind of just still teasing each other, kind of. Mostly Maria is kind of just still in her cosplay whole thing. 
Maki with an H and C. Well, Maki and H and Z are actually training with the Kendo girls. Uh, Lexia is kind of upset the fact that you guys suspend it, but she managed to kind of just sit next to most of you. Well, mostly Maria, but you have to help her cope somewhat. Yeah. Also, the darkish skin girl that one time you met, the glasses. She actually wanted to come here to kill, so she's also here. Is it? Oh, interesting. Huh, that's quite interesting. Let's see where. Well, like I said, I thought you actually enroll in one of the schools and kill. He says, "Oh heck, no! I'm not gonna enroll. I already told you, I'm suspended. I'm good. I'm not going to a school. I'm, I, I can just sit for one month in suspension. I'm fine. Let's see where. Well, we'll see. I can add it. I can say so. Your older brothers, how are they?" Or who are they exactly? Is there? He says, like, "Oh right, I never did tell you about who exactly my older brothers are." So you can already tell from my last name being Issei Sanakuragawa. Well, my one of my oldest brothers, who is actually a little bit older than me, is named Mikey. Well, that's his nickname. We call him. Well, his actual real name is Manja. Well, yeah, Manjano. Uh, yeah, Manjano Sano. And then my oldest brother, being what they call uh, Izana Kuragawa. But then again, you should probably already know about this since you recorded me that one time in Tokyo Shiba City. And don't you think I didn't notice you doing that? This is where Ike's face becomes red entirely. And then this is where it says kind of puts its arm around what's it called Ike's waist and then in, and stopping in the middle of the hallway. He says, hey, also, you wearing those jeans and those kind of like shirt? It's quite cute of you. I actually took a quiet liking to you. Issa said in a very dark and kind of haughty tone a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, kind of a dark and haughty tone. This is where, well, mostly Ike's face becomes almost entirely red. This is where, well, I could just try to look away, but this is where Issa kind of just put her face right to see with his own face. And this is where Issa says, I would not mind at least taking one kiss from you. This is where, well, Issa was kind of itching his face near her face. And this is where Ike's face becomes almost entirely all red. This is where, well, Issa stops and says, well, then again, you wouldn't probably not even like me kissing you. So I should probably stop with that. Well, other than that, we should probably get go into the uh, what's it called dining room. That's where well I could say uh, yeah yeah. I guess head is right now in so many dirty thoughts, and she was actually thinking they were gonna make out and then start kind of having uh the uh, fun stuff. But yeah, she since she is considered still a pervert, but not the point. But we go into mostly them kind of getting towards the dining room. So where, well, I can met was it called Azana and even was it called Mikey and even Drakken. and Drakken and actually showed up, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly Drakken was kind of arguing with Naruto, but yeah. Naruto and Drakken was kind of arguing. Well, not Drakken and Naruto. Mostly uh, Mikey and Naruto were arguing about what is better, ramen with this type of flavors or uh, ramen with this type of flavors. But yeah, they were both arguing. Izana was actually dumbfounded with what's it called Mikey and Naruto's conversation. But of course, Izana did talk to another person named Sasuke. Sasuke and Izana has almost the same personality, but they don't argue. They just stare at each other with a tense look. Draken over here is just kind of swear chopping, but yeah. Mostly, Yakuza and Amaterasu are just swear chopping at this also. Until mostly Issa says, Mikey, Draken, and Izana. This is where, well, they look up and say, huh? Issei! They rush up and just hug him to see if he's fine. Mostly Mikey was the one to, uh, well, not outrun Draken or what's it called, Izana. Izana was actually first and hugs, what's it called, Mikey to make sure that, well, not Mikey, mostly Issei to make sure that he's fine. Mikey does also hug and also Draken. This is where, well, mostly Izana noticed Ika and says, oh, is that your another, is that, isn't that another girl that was on that picture that, was one of your girlfriends sending you? Is she also a part of that girl harem that I was talking about? And this is where, well, mostly Issa's face becomes right and say, uh, what, 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 sh Shut up, Zana. This is where, well, Issa's face is all red. Right now, Aika also heard this and her face is entirely red. She kind of walk up next to, was it called, mostly Yakuza? And, this is, and mostly Yakuza says, Oh, is that the boy you said you like and went towards Tokyo Shiba City? This is where, well, mostly Mostly, I can say, shut up, don't say stuff like that. No, 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 stop it. This is where, well, mostly Yakuza giggles and says, oh, come on, I'm just a little teasing. Of course, it worked. well, mostly that was happening until mostly Yakuza stood up and says, um, 
Your name Issei, right? This is where Issei kind of looks at Yakuza and says, uh, yeah. Of course, Issei has a little tint of blush, but not the point. This is where, well, mostly uh, Yakuza bows down and says, I'm so sorry for what my daughter and my son has done. Please, forgive them. I, well, I know you won't be able to forgive them. And Issei says, no, nah, it's fine. I know a kid will react deadly, I guess, to someone touching something. I mean, if she doesn't know, if, well, yeah, if she didn't know who exactly I was, I mean, then again, I do look like a fucking criminal half the time, so, man. This is where, well, mostly Yakuza says, uh, you don't, this is where, well, mostly, uh, I can say criminal. You look like someone who just got out of fucking jail. Well, not jail, mostly, just look like you got out of, I don't know, probably a fucking war, because you look pretty hurt and tired. And also, you're probably hungry. This is where, well, mostly says, not the point, Aika. This is where, well, Aika says, it is a point because you are hungry, aren't you? This is where, well, mostly Yakuza comments saying probably he's hungry for you. This is where, well, she kind of said under her breath and kind of just told Aika that. And this is where, well, it was kind of a direct comment for her. And this is where Aika's face becomes red and say, shut up, mother. I mean, not mother, aunt. This is where, well, mostly he's going say, uh, I am hungry, but uh, yeah. This is where, well, mostly Yakuza gave that look towards Aika saying, see, told you. This is where, well, mostly. I guess face becomes red and just say, shut up. That, this is where, well, he says, it, this is not the point. I don't know how to tell you this, but I forgive your daughter. And I don't forgive that guy. <laughs> this is where, well, he says, hey, that guy with such a monstrosity hair color. This is where, well, we'll see. The guy says, uh, what's wrong with my red hair? Also, this is where, well, we'll see. Say, say, also, your monstrosity of fucking clothing, fashion, please. Stop it. Can you not wear that in front of me? This is where it's an orange jumpsuit that he kind of had, and this is where, well, he glares at Issei, and Issei just kind of looks at him with mostly an evil chuckle that he had, and I, well, an evil kind of sinister smile on his face, but yeah. This is where, well, he has to say giggles at mostly Issei's comment, at mostly her own son, but yeah. Or mostly, it's mostly a stop to son, but not the point. This is where, well, Naruto's glaring at mostly uh, Issei, and this is where, well, Issei's just kind of chuckling, but yeah. This is where, well. Mostly, Kuniko did go up to Issei and bow down saying, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I thought you were a criminal and this is where, well, he says, it's not, it's fine. This is where, well, she kind of just right now looks up at Issei and sees a smile, a friendly smile on Issei, but yeah. He's okay with it. Shit, it did hurt it, but then again, it probably wasn't that bad since he got shot multiple times before and even probably almost portrayed, but whatever. This is where, well, Issei said, it's fine. It's really fine. I am hungry though. Hey, Aika, uh, where's the nearest kind of like store to go eat or something? This is where, well, I can say, uh, yeah, i help you. This is where, well, mostly Aika decides to bring Issei towards mostly just the, uh, mostly kind of, um, I mean, they are in the dining room, but she did kind of went towards the kitchen to kind of get something, but yeah, to kind of give Issei because he's hungry. This is where, well, mostly they get to the kitchen. This is where, well, Aika and Issei were just there. Of course, they were, well, I could just kind of did ask one of the maidens to kind of, like, make food and other things, but yeah. Even though Issa says, I'll be fine if I just go buy something. This is where I could glare at Issa and say, no, not happening. This is where, well, I could say, it's not happening. You're going to eat something that kind of gives you protein and you won't die. Issa says, fine. This is where, well, mostly Issa is kind of falling asleep because he's waiting for mostly his meal to be cooked, but yeah. And this is where, well, mostly you see, kind of notice I could kind of just looking into her phone and other things. And of course, this is where, well, you say just put his head on top of her shoulder, or mostly, yeah, her shoulder. And this is where I could blush and say, What are you doing? He said, I'm so tired. I can't lay on anything hard, so I wanted to lay on something soft at least. This is where, well, I could kind of make a little pervert joke saying, I mean, you can always let, uh, lay on my chest. Do you want to do that? He said, Maybe. He just said with a teasing kind of look also. But he was still tired, so of course he was falling asleep anyway. This is where, well, mostly, I just face becomes red and say, uh, Issei, are you okay? This is where, well, Issei just fell asleep, but yeah. I can realize that he's asleep until mostly her sister kind of come up, mostly through the kitchen also. You see, mostly I and Issei kind of there together. Of course, Issei fell asleep again, and this is where the white haired girl is kind of having a jealousy look at Aika. Aika notices and says, What do you want, uh, uh Kaga? This is where, well, Kaga says, nothing. Why do you think I want something? 
That's what I can say. Because you're looking at him with jealousy look. Like if you wanted yourself to sleep on me. This is where Kaga says, that's not what I was looking at. I was looking at the jealousy look that he's actually sleeping with you again. Or mostly on top of you. I want him to sleep with me. This is where she kind of admitted out loud, which mostly Aika was actually embarrassed and even wants to call her sisters, mostly Kaga sisters, because she is kind of like a twin related with the other girls. What, triplet someone? And of course, well, she blushes what she just said and covered her mouth up instantly. Of course, the others kind of look at her with a very confused, but at least kind of teasing look. They look at Aika also with teasing kind of look at the same time. This is where, well, they all sat down and just waited for mostly their foods to be cooked, but this is where, well, Easy kind of woke up, but of course fell back asleep because he was just tired. He really didn't care, but yeah. This is where, well, I guess kind of being teased. I mean, Kaga, it's being getting teased by the other two, but yeah. This is where, well, they are just quite embarrassed, but yeah. But we go into a time skip about mostly, like, two, well, mostly not two, mostly like a week passing by. Mostly like two weeks passing by. And of course, this is where, well, or not two weeks, mostly like five days passing by but yeah so yeah five days passing by and this is where well well yeah not five it's like it's kind of like seven days passing by and this is where well easy has just been kind of talking to aika and even the other three girls mostly the other three sisters of aika they're a little bit older but not much mostly they are actually having taken a liking towards easy and of course, how he actually smiles, genuinely sometimes. He's actually much more caring and gentle, but of course can be ruthless in battle. Yes, they actually have seen this because when Issei and even Naruto win against just a fight in normal hand-to-hand -hand comic, Issei was actually beating the shit out of Naruto pretty easily because of his uh, skills of using Reach Attack on Do, but also using other skills. But yeah, this is where, well, mostly, uh, how's it called? Uh, Naruto didn't really stand a chance. And then when it came to Sasuke and Sword to Sword combat, Issei had no Sword to Sword car uh, combat, but of course, it's where, well, uh, Sasuke sc still used the sword to try to stab at him. Well, just trying to make him give up, but Issei grabbed the sword from the blade. Of course, it was cutting his hand, but this is where Issei fucking knee was to call Sasuke to the fucking moon. But yeah, when I mean moon, just knock his ass out. This is where, well, mostly Sasuke was knocked out for the count, but yeah. Everyone wind their eyes. Of course, Issa was bleeding from his hand, but they didn't really care. Because he was actually using Dragon's Rage. And of course, mostly, Zana had to explain what Dragon's Rage entirely is. It's just something that mostly some people in, uh, mostly Tokyo, Shiba City, can get. Well, mostly is. What the hell is that noise? So, pretty much, she just explains a little bit of what it is. It's created out of hatred, and mostly, uh, well, it was kind of created at hatred and love, but not the point. But mostly rage, but yeah. So much of that of dark impulse that mostly Mikey has, but yeah. But this is where, well, dark, uh, dark impulse is created at love, but yeah. It's mostly curses thing, which is just probably something that's mostly like rage so much. He really doesn't understand that much of the sciences kind of thing or whatever. He just believes that it's not supernatural and it's supernatural complete bullcrap, but yeah. Yeah, so where, well, everyone just believes that it's kind of a part of the supernatural. They just, these three kind of humans, or four humans, mostly entirely, don't really believe in the supernatural. And, of course, mostly, uh, Naruto, who does, well, is a yokai, kind of realized to try to make, Na uh, well, Issei believe in it. But Issei does not want to believe in it. He refuses to believe in it because it's kind of dumb. But, yeah. I can sign because she really wants Issei to really believe in it because if it makes more sense for Issei to believe in it, then a harem can actually be uh, born with Issei and the others. I mean, with the other girls, but yeah. Like, everyone can have a relationship with Issei, but yeah. So, of course, this work well. Mostly, I guess just angry and annoyed, but yeah. But of course, we go into mostly Issei and, well, Issei kind of just... Dealing with, we'll see, the girls and other things. So, of course, we were, well, Aika said that she's going back towards, we'll see, back to Kuo. Of course, she does ask Issei if he's going to stay in Kyo for any longer. Of course, Issei says not really. He actually got a text from someone to actually go to China. So, he's thinking of probably going to China, probably. 
Well, not China. He's actually going to a different place, but just to visit some people. Mostly like his father figure and other things. This is where I could say, I would actually like to meet your father figure then. This is where, well, I guess I actually wanted to know who exactly did Issei catch as mostly like a father figure interest. Mostly Issei said that he probably won't like to visit or be bothered too much by other people. This is where, well, mostly I guess sad, but yeah. This is where I guess says, what about a mother figure? Issei says, I never did meet anyone who was actually considered to be a mother figure. Uh, so yeah. I'm pretty much not really. I don't have an interest in for someone to be my mother figure or any of that. This is where, well, mostly uh, Yakuza has been trying to get Issei to be like a father figure for Kuno because Issei's kind hearted gentleness and other things, which, yeah, she tried to trick him one time, but of course Issei did refuse to do that. But yeah, literally he's 17 and he's not doing that. He said, nope. He would rather be like an older brother figure for Kuno, but not a father figure because, well, he has no clue in how to be a father. So, of course, mostly, I actually did question about that, like, why won't you be a father figure? He says, says, I am not a good father figure. I'm a brother figure, but not brother, a uh, father figure, because, well, the father figure that I have, it only trains me in, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's how I see father figures, like, they just train me to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, but that's, that's what I guess for a father figure. If anything, like, care and love, I don't actually know much. I only suspect that for mostly the true brother figure I have. And yes, I did notice you followed me into that graveyard. This is where, well, mostly right now, uh, I got face became more red and more embarrassed, but yeah. He said this, but I don't hate you and the fact that you probably already know my oldest brother and of course my sister. This is where, well, mostly I cannot and say, sorry, I didn't really mean to interrupt in any of that. Because when you were stopping a pervert, I was wondering why you went into Tokyo Shiba City. He says, sorry, uh, since it's just... Ignore it most of the time. Mostly, I only went there when I actually ran away when I was 11 years old. And came back to Kobo when I was actually around 14. Well, mostly about to turn 15, but not the point. First of all, well, mostly, I guess it's... And how did you get back to Kobo? If you were in Tokyo. I got arrested. Then they found out my true record histories and... Yeah, you get the point. I don't work the rest and I just became a pervert just because out of depression. But then kind of realized that I should probably stop being a pervert and actually become back to my normal self. This is my normal self. Me being a complete badass and not caring too much about others. This is where, well, mostly I can nod it. She then understands. Of course, the where, well, she grins and says, well, I mean, if you're going to just keep expanding your harem, at least make what they call us six from Kuo as your main girls. This is where, well, mostly E6 Faith became red, and of course, he did actually mostly deepen the relationship with him and Aika, but yeah. Of course, even with the relationship with her sisters, but not the point. This is where, well, mostly E6 just gets more embarrassed with that stuff, but yeah. And just kind of tries to ignore it, but mostly, yeah. Of course, Chalk and Izana and even Mikey tries to tease him. Mikey doesn't, well, he, yeah, he teases the hell out of Issei, but yeah. But of course, this is where, well, we go into mostly Issei. And Mikey and the others kind of like leaving Kyo to go to another place. But yeah, of course, he has met Junko uh, with an eye around Kyo for a while. And even Aika has met her. And of course, she noticed that Junko with an eye is really no different with an E. Because literally, both have such yandere personalities. This is where, well, we'll see. Aika just thinks anyone that's named Junko, uh, Junko literally has a yandere personality. But yeah, Issei doesn't really know about yandere personality, but doesn't really care too much. He just, yeah. Of course, it worked well. He just kind of goes, but yeah. Of course, I got sad in that he won't, well, she won't be able to see him, but not the point. But we go into mostly Issei getting towards mostly the organization called Fire Force. Now, of course, it worked well. Izana, as it called Mikey, and even Drunken, they went also here just to kind of meet uh, Benjamin, Joker, and the, any of the others, but not the point. For right now, I'm gonna leave it off here for parts uh, 11, but yeah. Of course, bye, see you guys, and yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm a little tired, so I might have to go to sleep, because I am kind of getting sleepy and tired, but not the point. Other than that, bye, see you, and yeah.